the constant thought that kept me going when i was finishing my van kitchen cabinet was being able to take a trip and the first thought that came to mind was something that was relatively close by the oaky finoki swamp so me and sunny girl loaded up the van and packed our little refrigerator for an overnight stay at the swamp and off we went we quickly encountered fast-paced highway driving that rapidly turned into fast-paced two-lane highway driving that went on forever. And then out of nowhere, we encountered the sign that says, Welcome to Georgia. And I just had to stop and take a picture. Back to more fast-paced two-lane highway driving for another good 20 minutes. And there was the sign that welcomed us to the Oki Finoki Swamp. As you drive into the swamp, you're not exactly sure what you're going to encounter. But I quickly learned that cooler weather meant the alligators no longer felt the need to hide out and could be found almost everywhere sunning themselves. I brought my bicycle along to quickly cover territory on the boardwalks and the trails. And as I rode around, began to realize just how big this place is. Of course, in a swamp, you expect to see marshes and mud pits. But what surprised me more than anything were the swamp flowers. That even in a place like this, flowers found a way to grow. But the most interesting part of my riding around was finding a replica of a swamp family farmhouse, better known as cracker houses with high roofs and a wraparound porch. Roaming through the house, you could tell that the kitchen was the center of family life. It was big and airy, with a stove that took up almost the entire space. Meals must have been pretty large. The living room, by comparison, seemed small and the bedrooms even smaller. But another surprise was how outside had been incorporated inside, where you see a bathtub and a hand pump to bring in water to either take a bath or do the laundry. It's inside but outside and i guess for the animals there was the outside well even with these small creature comforts you definitely got the impression that swamp life was hard leaving the farmhouse i realized i had been so enchanted by the swamp i remembered what the rangers said the pass I purchased allowed me to come in to the east entrance, and I had a full week if I wanted to come back to view the west side of the swamp. By now, Sunny Girl and I were more than ready to set up our cook stove and prepare a meal and think about what was on the west side of the Okie Fanoki.